Hey guys, this is Tattoo Tony, and welcome to this uh, video. This is a quick little recap. We're exploring this amazing, giant, abandoned castle school. This is a photograph that Andrew took. This is my fat ass with flippers on in the pool and standing atop the fountain with my camera. Um, we're about to jump into the music room here. An absolutely stunning room. Acoustic tiles on the walls, but all the wood, uh, I don't know, paneling and stuff, just but the floor is starting to cave in. Um, you'd be lucky not to fall down to the second floor through this pretty soon. Um, it's amazing to think that this building actually was usable uh, probably in the early to uh, mid 2000s and, and by that I mean I don't know it's confusing you know this whole this whole uh century is kind of screwed up I'm not sure what to call it you know I guess around the turn of the century <laughs> since we're only in 2017 one day people are going to be talking about um, stuff that was built at the turn of the century if we last that long you know I, I personally believe dinosaurs are going to make a comeback but anyways all these chairs uh, great building um, if and this is a big if if you're not hitting the like button for me I have to say it every time because it's still not happening I get at least a thousand views on every video I have a feeling a lot of the people are the same people viewing over and over again you are hurting my channel um, a lot by not clicking the like button it makes a difference. It's not just telling me, oh, 500 people liked it. It actually gets YouTube to uh, suggest my videos to more people. I mean, even my own subscribers. Right now, they've got an algorithm that's hurting small creators. This is a science lab room. And uh, they're not even showing my videos or suggesting them to people who have subscribed to my channel. Because you would think with almost 10,000 subscribers I'd get more than a thousand views on a video making and putting these videos out I get a little bit of ad revenue and I put it all back into creating more of these videos for you but uh, you know I'm not making money because it's all put back into it but anyways it's uh, about 30 cents an hour and that's just the, the production not counting the filming you know it takes me say if it takes me three hours to make a video and upload it and everything and promote it I'm making like 30 cents an hour and uh, that as far as a budget that's hard to deal with I mean I could afford to buy an ear of corn with 30 cents I guess but uh, you guys wouldn't want to watch me make videos of uh myself eating ears of corn so <laughs> um <clears throat> man I went off on a tangent there anyways click the damn like button share comment you know please and I'll keep making more videos you know there's a good chance YouTube may die there's some stuff going on with it not gonna get into all that but it's going to stop new content creators from being able to do much and you're going to go back to watching cats you know play with play with balls and lick themselves I love this moldy all these colors uh, I wish that Windows wouldn't throw updates uh, at me when I'm in the middle of uh, Jeez <laughs> They're messing with me while I'm narrating a video so. oh, this is 
So anyways, back here. Boxes and boxes of shoes, new shoes. Of course they're decaying now. Coats, pants, shirts. And uh, this, there's still a Naval Academy in another building and it just blows it should blow anybody's frickin' mind that they would leave like thousands of uniforms and shoes and belts and hats and patches and you know the school district just leaves this stuff behind to decay and do nothing with it. I mean, a lot of the pants were like dickies. They could have, uh, you know, given them to a uh, you know Salvation Army or homeless shelters or whatever for people to wear. I mean, you might as well if they're going to sit here and get black mold all over them and get ruined, you know, or have a giant garage sale. Shit, I don't know. Uh, but all these yearbooks, too, stacks and stacks and boxes, wasteful. So, um, I'm not saying that it's their fault, but while they're trying to instill discipline, organization, and... Uh, you know, good ethics through this Naval Academy. Somebody, somewhere, I don't know who's in charge of this, but whoever it is shouldn't be giving speeches and telling other people how to do their jobs when you've got all this waste going on and the building's going to collapse and shit tons of usable stuff's left behind. You know, it's like, don't come give me a speech, buddy. So you can see it was a Navy Junior ROTC. Are you guys getting any sense of how long these rows are? And this wasn't the only room. All full of coach uniforms. <coughs> Like I said, the Naval Academy is still, uh, still in business, you know, just not in this building. And, you know, tell me, give me a good reason why, you know, what, did they change uniform colors? I doubt it. Even if they did, they shouldn't have with that much uh, leftover stuff. There's hobo piss in a bottle. St. Louis Public Schools, whoever's in charge, making sure shit doesn't get wasted. You're fired! No, I'm kidding. Sorry, I can't tell you why it just pisses me off and, you know, seeing this. I mean, whoever's in charge of this, are we even sure they can tie their own damn shoe? So look at this here. Um... That's like a boiler room. That thing is humongous. Um, the first time we came here to film, I was able to actually walk in the bottom of that. You know? And it became flooded. That, uh, one shit's going to be unusable. The glass box well, cool, blocks. Yeah. We redid one of them. Their room with the glass blocks on the side is incredibly cool. Here's a kind of a view of the side of the school. Um, there was a bunch of hobos living on the front of here. It smelled like pee real bad. We saw a guy sitting here when we pulled up earlier. Um, but there's some women's stuff here too. There's like, looks like three little piles this, of hobo stuff. Well, look, there's blood, dude. What do you think? Or no wax? No, poor stupid. What do you think that is wax, huh? Oh, yeah. There's their eating utensils, bag of flour. It's kind of random stuff, you know. I, I don't think, Dude. like, I'd want a bag of flour. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Look at this shit, bro. Can you believe that? It definitely got worse. 
That was a dude probably sitting out here. Looks like there's two people. Yeah. Or three. Wow, living under this, huh? Oh, there's the candle that the wax came from. You know, that could have been a woman's purse or a purse that, I wish you could have done stills, like, one that a hobo stole. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, I'll have some new videos tomorrow. Enjoy!